Today I'm going to be throwing my Shape Tape Concealer away. Not really. Hopefully. Hey you guys, welcome back. My name is Kelsey for those of you guys who do not know me. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, then I really welcome you here and I really thank you for all the support. If you end up liking this video, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up and if you love it, go ahead and subscribe. But without further ado guys, let's get on to this video because I am very excited. If you have been watching my videos, you guys know that my all-time favorite concealer in the whole wide world is this little guy right here. This Tarte Shape Tape has been in my life for quite a while now, and I love you to death, but I think it's time to retire this and find a new concealer that I love with all my heart. Lately, I have been getting a little more dry under my eyes, and Tarte Shape Tape and dryness does not mix well together, so I need to say goodbye to that and find a new concealer that will still my heart. Today I'm going to be trying out this Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Flawless Wear Concealer. I really hope I come to love this. If not, I will have to stick with my Shape Tape, which I love. I love the coverage of the Shape Tape. I love the formula of the Shape Tape. The only issue is when I get dry, the Shape Tape and my skin do not get along and it creases and it gets dry spots and it does not look pretty under my eyes and under my eyes is somewhere where I need it to be smooth and I need it to be light and pretty and with shape tape that wasn't working anymore so time to move on and try this new concealer so if you guys are excited and I'm excited then keep on watching I went ahead and zoomed in a little so you guys can see my face but we're gonna go ahead and get started with my face routine First, because my skin is a little bit dry, I'm going to want to hydrate my face. So I'm going to go in with this Mario Badescu Cucumber and Green Spray. I absolutely love this stuff. I'm going to push my hair back a little bit and spritz it all over my face. After I spray that on my face, I'm going to want my face to absorb as much of that moisture as possible because I am dry. I'm going in with this Morphe sponge and I'm just going to press that into my face. I'm not going to rub it around everywhere, I'm just going to gently dab it so that my skin absorbs as much of that product as possible. Next, because I am breaking out right here and right here a little bit. I'm going in with my Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Spot Treatment. This is just going to add protection to that area of skin so that when I apply my foundation, it's not too heavy on that area. After my skin has been hydrated and protected over some blemishes, I'm going to go in with my Josie Moran Moonstone Drops, and the label is already off because I use these so often. This is going to add some dewiness to my face and some luminosity, and I'm going to shake them before I put them on my face just so the product gets mixed evenly in the tube, and it comes out beautiful on my face. Lately, I've been trying to get foundations with a more luminous finish. Um, today, I'm going to be using my Estee Lauder foundation because of the sake of the Estee Lauder concealer and the Estee Lauder foundation being together on the same face, seeing if it works out. Um, but I really want to get more foundations that have a more luminous finish just because I am dry. I feel like the luminosity would look really, really good on my skin, especially during the summertime. After it's all mixed well together, I'm going to go ahead and put a drop down my face like that and on the sides of my face. So a total of three drops and then I'm just going to blend this in with my hands. So make sure that you have clean hands. Always wash your hands before you start your makeup just because you're going to be touching your face a lot or at least I do. Um, so I'm just going to blend that in on top of everything. I feel like I've mentioned these drops before, but they work so well. I feel like they're not talked about enough. They give a very luminous finish. They smell very nice, and you can use it alone as a primer if you want to, and it works really well. So I highly, highly recommend these drops. If you have not tried them, they work wonders. As you can see, those drops just left a very glowy, like, 
pretty dewy look on my skin and i am actually living for that right now i have in the past been all about matte all about making my face as matte as possible with so many powders but recently i've just been so into the dewy look that i want dewy products so that my makeup looks dewy because i think it looks gorgeous and i used to think it looked bad before like i hated it but now i'm living and i'm really excited to get more stuff Next, I'm going to be applying the Porefessional on my nose area as well as my forehead and my chin. I tend to need a little bit extra help getting my foundation to stick to these areas, especially my nose. I like to put this on top of it just so it adds another layer of grip so that my foundation really stays put in that area. My face is ready to go. My face is ready to go. Okay, now that my face is prepped, it's primed, it's ready for some foundation, I'm going to be taking my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation today. I'm just going to pour a little bit on the back of my hand. I don't have the pump, and I need to get a pump because this wastes a lot of product, honestly. I'm going to pick it up with my fingers and I'm going to dot it all over my face and then I'm gonna go in with the Morphe sponge and blend everything together. I am using the flat side to put my foundation on and I'm going to use the rounder side to put my concealer. I feel like with the flat side, I can really, really press in that foundation and make sure that it stays in place. And I also feel like it gives me a lot more coverage that way than applying it with this rounded side. I use a lot of foundation when I put foundation on just because I am a full coverage queen. So, a lot of foundation is my thing. Just because you put a lot of foundation doesn't mean necessarily that your makeup's going to be cakey. You just need to learn the techniques on how to apply it so that it doesn't look that way. Now that the foundation is on, it is time to move to the exciting part, the concealer. So this is what the concealer looks like. It is just in this sleek tube. I am in the shade 2W, which is light, medium, warm. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this now before anything sets on my face. And I'm gonna go ahead and go under my eyes. The formula is pretty light. And I feel like it's a good color match for me for concealing. I'm only going to do one eye at a time because I'm not sure what the dry time is. And I don't want to put it on the other eye and it dry super quickly. So with the rounded part of my Morphe sponge, I'm going to just go ahead and push that in. That actually dried pretty quickly. Um, good thing I only put concealer under one eye at first because that would have dried super quick. The coverage is very nice. It's very lightweight. It doesn't feel like I have anything under my eyes or anything, you know, excess like weight under my eyes. It looks really nice on camera from what I can see. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye really quickly and set it with some powder.
With concealer, I feel like it's really important to also just push it in instead of rubbing it around because with concealing, you want to leave the product exactly where you meant to put it. You don't want to disperse the product anywhere else. So it's really important to push that product into your skin so that it doesn't move and so that it stays exactly where you want it to be. I'm also going to go ahead and conceal up my nose a little bit on my cupid's bow and then a little bit up here on my forehead and then I'm just going to blend that in as well with the morphe sponge So this is my face thus far. I am really digging the concealer. It looks really nice. I'm going to go ahead and set it really quickly. I'm going to go in with the Airspun powder. I haven't used this one in a while. I am using the Morphe sponge once again just to put powder on it. As my under eyes are setting, I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face with my Maybelline Fit Me powder. This is in the shade light medium. All right, and then with that same brush, I'm going to just wipe away the excess airspun powder. So the concealer looks really good right now. There's no creasing under my eyes. It's set really well with the airspun powder and it's looking really flawless on the skin. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be back to give my final thoughts. Okay, so I just finished my makeup and I wanted to give my final thoughts on the concealer. So far, I am amazed by this concealer. It is not creased it set very well with powder even after i applied it and didn't apply powder it was not creasing at all so that's a good thing it looks a lot better under my eyes than my shape tape does that is for sure the shape tape does grab onto dry spots under my eyes but this looks flawless i will continue to try this for the next couple of days and on my next video i will give you guys an update on how it is working for me but at the moment i I am very pleased with this concealer and I can't wait to keep playing with it and try it and see if my skin agrees with it. But thank you guys so much again for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, remember to hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you loved it. Uh, leave me a comment down below on if you have tried this concealer, if it works for you, and what concealer you love. And I will see you guys on my next video. <laughs> we're Kelsey's roommate and she's the best uh, YouTuber in the whole world. Yeah, so and we're subscribe. really proud supporters. So subscribe, subscribe down below. Uh, here's her logo. <laughs> <laughs>